Hi, welcome to another Coding in Blitz Basic. Um, this is the first part of how to build a platform game based around using the levels that we're making in the level editor. Uh, I'll just show you it running first of all. So if I start it up, you see here it's the same level that I had in the level editor. I've got a guy there, he's a guy from our animated images tutorial. He's also the same guy that I've got in my test level for my own uh, platform game which is, this will probably be the same sort of code that I use for my full game so I'll just run him across the level there you can see that he can walk up to all the platforms so I'm just going to step through the code it's very similar at the start to the level editor code in terms of how it loads the graphics how it loads the actual level but I'll bring in the stuff to do with the player as well so we set up our graphics details how big the, each tile is I then set, set the starting coordinates for the player. Uh, I'm using floating point values here, that's why I've got a hash next to player x and player y. That's because I'm going to be updating him by less than one pixel at a time. So I want floating point variables. I set a gravity variable there, which is how much he will accelerate down on each frame. I've got the speed he jumps at. So if I alter that, so I make that 5 and start the game, you see he now jumps a lot less than what he did before, which isn't much good for getting around this level. Oh, and he's gone. So really you want to keep that quite high. Oh, not quite that high. This is one of these variables in platform games you need to really play around with a lot to make sure that it matches the sort of level designs it, that you're going for. So that's about right actually, how I've got it there. Okay. I'm setting his x axis acceleration. This is how fast he actually accelerates when he when he moves left or right. You'll see when I actually play the game, he doesn't just move left left or right at set speeds. He accelerates in that direction and then slows down to turn around. So that's acceleration there. So as you hold down left or right, it changes his speed by this amount. Um, so you'll see him slow down and move. Also, he'll also move left and right in the air, but not quite as much. And that's dealt with later on. It's also got maximum speed. Uh, I've got double jumping, um, just initially set it to false, that's all. And his starting speed, so how fast he's moving when you start the game. Uh, directions, these are actually to do with the frames when I load the actual character. If you go, if I go down to where I load the graphics, you see there my hero image. Uh, I'm loading 16 frames there, so there's four frames for each direction that you can walk in, which is left, right, up, and down. Uh, he'll move up when we put ladders in and things like that later on. So I've got a constant there and that's what frame number to start animating at depending on which direction he's uh, actually walking in. I've got whether he's on land or not. So if he's on land it won't check to see whether or not he's, he's falling or check for collisions or anything like that. It'll just, you know, well it will but that'll allow you to jump if you're on land. If you're not on land you can't jump obviously because you're already in the air unless it's a double jump or something. Okay, uh, num tiles. I don't think that's actually used. Let me just check. It is okay. I'll leave num tiles in. Uh, game timer. Setting up a graphics. Set up a background clear screen color. Name of the actual program. Uh, this is all the same as it is in the um, in the level editor. So I'm not even going to talk about it. It's just loading the level in. Loading the hero image. We then start the uh, main loop. I set a frame to be zero. I'm keeping a track of what frame number it is. That's just literally, uh, it's running at 30 frames a second, so every second it'll be up by another 30. I use that for calculating what animation frame to set the actual character um, at. That makes more sense when I get down to it. So we cycle through the tiles, we draw them just like we did in the map editor. Uh, if I press space, which is key hit 57, so jump character, I'm pressing space. This bar. So if he's on land, it's not a double jump, or no, he's either on land or he's got his double jump available, and you press space bar. Then, if it's not a double jump, no, if it is his double jump, then set double to zero, and increase his my speed by the jump speed, which is just how fast you jump at. So it just takes you all current speed on the y-axis, you know, up and down, and just increases it by how fast you jump. 
then go down. I've got sets on land to false to show you in the air, and then you've got if you're pressing left or right, then update your MX speed with the acceleration, which is AX, which is what I talked about earlier. Um, otherwise, if they're on land, then and you don't press any keys, just slow them down a bit. That's just friction, basically. Just checks your MX speed, divides it by 1.2, so you steadily slow down. And when you get below a certain speed, set your speed to zero. Okay, update the MY speed by gravity for each um, frame. Well, we mentioned that earlier. That's fine. If you watch my gravity tutorial as well, that makes a lot of sense. Then it has to calculate which coordinate, which map coordinate the player was in within. So um, the reason I'm plusing five there is actually to do with where I'm handling the sprite from, because I'm handling it from the top left, so I want it to be the middle of the sprite. So I kind of change where it's looking. I might change that later on. Actually, you just leave it as it is. So for now, it does work. We can have a play around with it if you want. Uh, stop player walking off the left hand side of the map. So if man x is less than zero, that's if the tile that the calculate that the character is on is less than zero, then set it to zero, um, as in, yeah, set it to zero, set MX to zero, and set the player's X coordinate to one, so you're back on the screen. I've then got my messy collision detection, where it knows what tile you're in, what Y coordinate tile you're in, so it basically takes player Y plus 15 to it, so it's a bit below the player calculates what tile that is and then if the tile under the player is the same as the tile the player is on then the tile is in that tile and if that's a collision tile then it means that when it's updated the player's Y position it's updated it so they're within a, a solid tile uh, which they shouldn't be so if they're within a solid tile and they're for and MY is more than zero which means they're falling then set their MY speed to zero set on land to be true to show they're back on a tile, reset the double jump um, variable and set the player's y coordinate to be the the y coordinate of that tile or just above that tile yeah just above that tile that the uh, that is the collision tile next stop the player falling at more than a certain speed because you've got a maximum speed so that's fine um, I should probably set that as a variable really, I'll do that for next time. Update the player's Y coordinate, that's fine. And then scroll the screen depending on where the player is. So, you know, that's basically it. Um, I'm thinking now. Yeah, stop the player travelling more than a certain speed on left and right. Update left and right coordinates, scroll the screen for left and right. Uh, and then set a direction to be a left or right depending on which way they're moving uh, draw the player to the screen so draw draw the hero after calculating what frame of animation to do what I do is I take the frame number divide it by 5 um, which means it only goes up by 1 for every 5 frames and then I do modulus 4 modulus is basically the remainder if you divide it by 4 so 6 divided by 4 would be one remind, remainder two, so six mod four will be two, uh, twelve mod four would be zero, fourteen mod four would be two. Uh, just look up modulus on Google or something to find you know simpler explanation of that. Um, it's also in the help as well. So if you go to any command, press F one, it will tell you what mod what mod. Okay, that's it for this time. I'll make another video during the week. Hopefully this one wasn't too complicated. I had a lot of ground to cover, um, but there'll be less uh, to add to it next time. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye.